Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're doing our wrap-up show. I hope you guys enjoyed the the series um, we went through. Um, uh, I'm restoring honor to the black community, what it would really take. And um, we went through uh, answering some questions about what it would take to uh, restore honor and pride to black men, black women, black children, black senior citizens, black businesses, and we wrap it up today with black entertainers. So we're just going to go through and kind of do a, a summary of um, the uh, problems and solutions. And so I'm going to start you off with a poem, of course, and this one is, if there's something wrong with the black world, fix it. You know, the Need a Black Source part of the black community fix it campaign. And so we're always talking about uh, if there's something going on and you don't like the way it is, fix it. So we're going to start with this. Is there something wrong with the black agriculture? Fix it. Is there something wrong with the black banks? Fix it. Is there something wrong with the black corporations? Fix it. Is there something wrong with the black dollar? Fix it. If there's something wrong with black entertainment, fix it. If there's something wrong with black families, fix it. If there's something wrong with black government, fix it. If there's something wrong with black homelessness, fix it. If there's something wrong with black integration, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black job market, fix it. If there's something wrong with black knowledge, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black legal system, fix it. If there's something wrong with black marriages, fix it. If there's something wrong with black neighborhoods, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black organizations, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black population, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black quality of life, fix it. If there's something wrong with black religions, fix it. If there's something wrong with black schools, fix it. If there's something wrong with black technology, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black universe, fix it. If there's something wrong with black voting, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black wealthy, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black Xeroxing and printing companies, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black younger generation, fix it. If there's something wrong with black zoning, fix it. If there's something wrong with the black world, fix it. That's a Black Panther poem by Need a Black. And that's what this whole series was about. Was about, you know, you hear organizations talking about what's wrong with black people all the time. But how many of them out there are actually getting up every day and fixing those things. How many are fixing black banks? How many are fixing black students? How many are fixing black people? So, you know, it's about bringing together those that are not just um, discussing the, the problem, but actually working on a daily basis to fix those things. Okay, so wrapping up. Got a little heated this week. <laughs> For those who are just tuning in, um, this series started, it actually was a spinoff from another series. We had a four-part series that uh, addressed some of the anger and concern that uh, black people had about this white news reporter, this white talk show host, that uh, decided to uh, hijack the legacy of Martin Luther King in order to piss black folks out. And so you got Obama, you know, basically according to white folks, hijacking all of these white um, people, uh, President Lincoln and whatnot. So this white talk show host 
decided, well, we'll hijack a, a black legacy that you know, black people like. And so he hijacked, of course, the one that everybody thinks mine was a game. <clears throat> and so he decided to have what many blacks considered a white-looking, um, uh, a white clan looking uh, rally at the place where Martin Luther King did what many consider to be a black uh, um, movement, black power uh, speech back in the 60s. He chose the Lincoln Monument. And he decided, this white talk show host, to do it on the 47th anniversary of the Martin Luther King, I have a dream speech. And so black people were all up in arms and upset. And you had black civil rights people who claimed that their march on the same day was not a challenge to this white reporter, which actually kind of um, diluted the, any um, attention or recognition that they would have gotten for their march because they immediately um, sort of shot themselves in the foot by saying, oh, no, 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 it has nothing to do with it. And it actually did. It, it really did. It was at basically the same day, same time as this uh, white rally at the Martin Luther King, I'm sorry, at the Lincoln Memorial on the anniversary of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream Speech. And so not many people may have paid much attention to the black march and rally that occurred because they basically said there's no reason to pay any attention to us because we're not doing anything. We're not uh, countering you know, what we see as an insult. So we're not countering what the black community see as an affront to the Martin King legacy. And the white... Uh, talk show host even went so far as to um, have Martin Luther King's niece uh, as one of the speakers at this, this white rally and um, sort of the token Negro, if you will, to make it seem less racist. And so black folks were all up in arms. And so we decided to do a series because whites were saying in this rally, this white talk show host and the white people coming to the rally, um, tea Party people and, and uh, the white um, campaign people and different white groups were saying it's time to restore honor back to America. And so um, we started discussions among black um, intellectuals, uh, entertainers, teachers, doctors, lawyers, and we decided to really um, delve into what it would really take to restore honor back to America. And we had to do it in three parts. First of all, was there a time when honor was actually in America? America actually had honor. Was there a time when America had honor? Two, do these white people, this white talk show host and the white Tea Party people and different groups that are there, do they really, really want to restore honor back to America? Or do they just want to restore America back to a time when whites were able to do what they wanted? And three, it, what would it really take to restore honor? back to America if it actually had honor at one point. And so um, we went through a lot of different discussion groups, which got kind of heated. And um, we, we determined, of course, part one, uh, the only time that this North American continent, this North continent, Northern continent, had honor, meaning people um, you know, respecting each other, respecting nature, respecting all this good stuff. The only time it actually had that honor among families, among tribes, among groups, was before white people actually came here 
before the first white people started popping up on the continent. 